Happy New Year everyone and welcome back to Locked In Kitchen. Today's guest is a special one and she hates this word but I'm a big fan. <laughs> she's a MOBO nominated artist but more importantly she's actually known for her cooking skills. Welcome to the show, Mira Mae! <laughs> it's like a Will Smith moment. <laughs> Pleasure I'm to have dead. you here. How are you, fe how thank you feeling? You, thank you, thank you. No, I feel great. I'm feeling wonderful. I'm so looking forward to doing some cooking. Good, because yes. as you said, you're not just a singer, you're a bit of a cook as well. I, I see you, I see your Instagram, I see you in your kitchen. I feel like I'm a good home cook at yeah. the moment. Once I get into my culinary classes and I'm just saying, be like a learning. Michelin, we're aiming for Michelin stars. Exactly. Like, that's what we're aiming exactly. for. So. So Mira's yeah. going to be teaching me today. So we had a few brainstorm ideas and Mira's going to be taking us through a dish that I didn't, didn't know about. So if you could tell me, what, what is it we're going to be cooking today? So we're going to be making um, crab rangoons. Crab rangoons is something that I discovered when I was in LA. Um, it's like a staple sort of Asian dish. A lot of Chinese takeaways mm -hmm. and Chinese shops like have them there, but they don't have them here. So, so yes. talk to me. So what can I do then? Because we've got a few bits of chive. If we cut these probably up to about here. We don't need the whites. Okay. So you had them in LA. When were you in LA then? Um, I've spent a lot of time in LA. Um, a lot of time in LA. Mm. Growing up. Because I've uh, been to LA the last once couple of years. Yeah. Recently, and it's it's a cool place. I wouldn't want to settle there. No. But yeah. it's a cool, it's just so different. It's great to work I, there. I love working oh yeah, in LA. Oh music, I bet it's cool actually. Working in LA is the best. Um, Can you slow down please? Like, what, what, are you try <laughs> what are you trying to do? Like, yours are looking good though. Perfect circular spring onions. S spring onions. Yes, yes, yeah. We'll put mirrors nicely cut herbs into the bowl because mine were just too good so. they were too, they were so good like you can't steal the show yeah. with the with the, the, the artist here <laughs> it's not good etiquette like you have exactly. to let me shine I like got i got it we got the crab yes so we want to do so we're gonna we're gonna shred our crab and we're gonna add we're just gonna add that straight in i don't think it needs no, I don't think so. but if it's wet I dry it. it as well. Because one thing or about drain, this mixture, yeah, yeah because yeah. this mixture, if the mixture gets too wet, it doesn't crisp. Yeah. It doesn't crisp, and everything just turns out soggy. That's what happened to me the first time, and I was miserable. <laughs> My crab rangoons didn't come out. So you, so Asian cuisine, would you say that's your favourite? Absolutely, yeah, I would say so. Um, and have you always been like a try everything type of girl? Or did did it take you a while to like? You know a lot what? Of like, I actually had like a very dull culinary upbringing in terms of like. Flavors. Yeah, like my my upbringing did not really give me much flavor. Um, yeah. We had Algerian food, of course, but because we spoke a bit about this, but I don't, I've never, I can't think of like Algerian food and think of a certain cuisine, like meal. So yeah. tell me about like what. It's just you know what it is. It's just it's just if you think of North Africa mm. as a whole. Yeah. When you think of Morocco, for example, you can think of couscous, you can think of tagine, you mm -hmm. can think of. You know, they've got those breakfast pancakes, we call them hajib, stuff like that. It's I the see same. I like but that's, that's... It's the same. Okay. It's like very me Mediterranean, Middle east -y kind yeah. of, but mixed with, it's North African, so like a lot of stews, a lot of like... Yeah, it's it's um, it's an, it's amazing cuisine. Algerian, North African cuisine is, is delectable, but mm. I think me growing up, I didn't really, I wasn't really around cooks, people yeah. who enjoyed cooking, yeah. people who enjoyed to feed. Mm. You know what I mean? It was more like, feeding, feeding me. was more of a chore yeah. in my household. Like we got to feed them, just feed them whatever. Yeah. But I think like growing up, like as I kind of left home, mm. I definitely started to just explore more things. I remember like I, I didn't try sushi until I was like, what, tw 19, 20? Really? Yeah, like there's you a lot it? of things I didn't try until mm. my twenties. Like. So how, in terms of the cooking then, when did your love for cooking, because I would say you do have a love for cooking. I definitely have a love for cooking. And a love to learn as well. Like, yeah. I see you chopping, you got the skills. Yeah, I do, <laughs> I, mean, I, do. I, mean, I, get some I don't need culinary skills, Listen, I'm just going to figure out. Come, come on, I'll give you cheap rates as well. <laughs> yeah. um, if I'm not watching a film, I'm watching something about cooking. Yeah. And I've always been great with knives. Yeah. <laughs> whoa, 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 was that okay. yeah. <laughs> I've been working in music for like 10 years and it's been so fun and I've made big accolades and yeah. I'm proud of like what I've done in music and who I've met mm. and the, you know, I'm, I'm proud of it all. As um, it should be. But I think 
I, my, in my life, I want to be able to say that what, how, how I've done music, yeah. I've done for all my passions. Yeah. So cooking being one of them, mm. acting being another, and definitely acting. I didn't writing. Know about acting, though. Yeah, I want to. I want to act. I want to start acting, and I want to definitely write a book and get into like film and. Okay. Yeah, like. I see that. It's a whole little shebang I'm trying that. to do here, package. you know, I like. That. This. I was reading an article and I really liked, which was talking about success and your your view on success, which I really mm. liked, and that you don't view success as getting a top 20 or top 10 song. No. It's more about that stability, being able to have to have have a nice house or do do the things you want. Yeah. And, I, and I love that. So yeah, talk to me about what success does mean to you. I think for me, success means happiness. Yeah. And for me, I just I just I think happiness for me. If I can yeah. wake up every day and be excited to yeah. go to like I was excited to get up today and yeah. come and film this like that's yeah. for me I'm succeeding in my yeah, life 100%. if I'm doing that and I know it's very like cheesy no but I completely agree with you 100%. but in real life that is you don't want to be doing something that you're just not happy and especially doing. in your industry where like you said you do get to meet people that have made huge names but at yeah the end of the day, you realize that a lot of them aren't happy there's always so much you can learn from like the past basically and yeah. I've I've I always study like the greats and I study like who I want to be like and, and who I've, is that? You know, just various different people from all from all walks of, of life, not just music and stuff. Like for example, like I really study like um, Aretha Franklin a lot, Aretha Franklin's story. Um, I study a lot of like Muhammad Ali's story. Yeah. Literally like from when I started like reading that, I was like, damn man, like people live such different lives and I think like the goalpost always moves. Mm. Like before, you know, if you had one number one selling album, you were good. Yeah. Like now you've got to do this and you've got to do this. And now you have to have, if you've got one album, one song in the charts, you need to have five to yeah. be something. Like it's like the goalpost in life always keeps Changing. moving. Yeah. We've seen people be snubbed for awards. We've mm. seen people who we feel like they should have won and they did it. So it's like, it's so temperamental yeah. and it's so like um, subjective to the person you can't, it has to be for you. Like when I got nominated for my Mobos, mm. I was gassed that I was nominated for Album of the Year in a category where Crazy. all those people in that category are like some of my closest friends. Yeah. And, and that I, was, that was it's like, like you don't care who wins because you're just in the conversation. And that's that was six all I care about. After your album was released, right? yeah. Or was that the Miracle Tales, Tales of the Miracle? Miracle. Yeah, 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 yeah. What was that? That must have been a mad feeling. It right? was nice to to <laughs> do like an album for the first time. Like it was, you know. And is that, would you say that's something that kind of stirred you on to be like, you know what, I need to be like grinding with the music thing, like, no. or did you feel like that before? Like, what motivated no. you to do music? I just music? needed to get out of my deal. <laughs> like, yeah. I was like, really into the production, really into like the, it was fast paced, you know, it was, we started making it like during COVID. My child was like three months, mm. you know, like he was in and out of the studio with yeah, me and yeah, trying yeah. to like keep him safe, trying yeah. to be safe, but then also trying to work. Like yeah. it, was, it was, it was, it was hard, but it was beautiful. And I think it's definitely, like I've, I've, I've leveled up in XP. Yeah. Like, yeah. do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's like, you know when you get those games where it's like, Yeah, the mushroom, five, I was gonna 500 say. 500 XP, like, <laughs> that's, that's me. My favorite album was the Dark album. Some of my oh yeah, yeah, the Dark EP. Some of my favorite songs are like Think That, Bad Behavior, and because I, because all growing up, I've always loved music, and I need a singer that. When I was younger, I didn't listen to lyrics. I just listened Melodies. to the voice, and mm. I'd be like, oh yeah, I, I fuck with that. I like that. Mm. But as I've got older, I've, not, I've kind of listen, you listen to the lyrics more, and it takes it to a deeper meaning because I've always listened to your music. But I've never until recently. That makes me really happy. No, but it's true though because really I'm, I'm a proper big muse person. I imagine this. What you doesn't like music? She will when I'm done with her. Well, I know. Yes, she will. She, she will. I guarantee you. If I sit that beautiful lady yeah. down and I her. show her some of my unreleased music that's coming this year, yeah. she will love me. She would. She would. We'll I can do bet it, on please. it. We'll do it. We'll, do, we'll see. We'll see. My we'll lovely see Whitney. <laughs> the, so the we're gonna add stuff. some QP. We don't need measurements. No, we don't. Just a good. Yeah, I just about need that to much. Go, yeah. That yeah. much. Is <laughs> I don't. I don't need anyone to tell me stuff. About I just that know. much is good. QP mayo is literally. I love So it. much better than it's normal so mayo. It's so creamy. It's so creamy. I was putting on my toast with scrambled eggs. This is a weird fact about me. I don't like butter really. Yeah. So I can't have like. You toast haven't found and, the right one. I can't do toast and just butter. I, I can do it with food, but I'm you not don't like butter toast, look. Nah. No. <laughs> not the first word. <laughs> first name. <laughs> so what have I done? Oh, I regret coming here. Lovely. lovely. Black pepper. Lovely. lovely. Yup. Also, with seasoning, yeah, that's enough. Yeah. With seasoning, 
just just don't do too much, people. When I watch all the top chefs, mm. we're like the, the big, like, they're never adding, like, you know when you see, like, Oh yeah, we're gonna add cayenne. That's me. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> That's like, breskies, like, do it little by little. Do you know you can, what I mean? You can Try just add to, more. That's exactly, but said. once you've done too much now, and that's that's me learning from my mistakes, because yeah. that used to be me. Yeah. So what's the next stage then? We've, we've almost got everything in. Soy yeah. sauce, so Worcestershire. Say it. Worcestershire. Okay. What, what's what, that, Shire? <laughs> right, and then the last thing is cream cheese. More, and I always whip up my cream cheese before I whip put it up, in there up. because it just makes the consistency easier. The whip! Whip it up. If you ain't got a whip! <laughs> Didn't know how much. And also, just to mix well, because I think when you're making like any type of dumpling or anything that's filled, mm. if you're not mixing well, you'll get like sort of clumps. Go first, you try first. I'm not gonna hold that. That's probably a whole one right there, isn't it? How much? Mmm, <laughs> that's really good. Like? That is sick, I can't lie. The crab rangoons are done. We're gonna place them in the oil and just fry them off for about two to three minutes. Yes. They're looking banging. They're looking banging. Crab rangoons are done. Look how pretty they look. I wanna eat them now, but we're gonna Crispy. we're gonna plate them up. Actually, before we play, I'll do the do the little. Whoa. You hear that? Naughty. I'm gonna sample this and make my next album out of it. <laughs> so when, when it, because you, you don't just sing as well, you produce, right? I, I, I produce, I play instruments. I can't like, uh, yet, I can't produce on the computer yet. Yeah. But I play instruments, um, I executive produce, I write for others. I, I'm just a musical genius really, to be honest. No, but it, it, <laughs> I find it so interesting, like how, how did you know when you were young that you were, like this was something you wanted to actually pursue on like a serious I did it. level? I did it. I wanted to be an hairstylist. Really? Yeah. Because I, I know you were a waiter as well. You're a waitress. Yeah, I did so much. You've stuff. done all, done it all. Door girl, bar mat, like working at a bar. Yeah. All that type of stuff. But you, I did do you a know lot. what? You learn so much from everything you do. Like yeah, it could transferable, be relationship, transferable it could be job. skills. You, you, like you take so much away from those. This one here. Bad boy. Look at her thicky shirt. You shot. know what? We're, we're making this look like a thick. flower. Yeah. This looks mad. You like my creative presentation? <laughs> yeah. Please, garnish for me, please. <laughs> please, I get you. They smell so good. Yeah, lovely. Amira and Lockins crab rangoons. Damn, they look good. They right, do. I'll, ladies first. Should we try it? Okay. I'm going you to gotta just go in, just dip, dip right. the thing. You're, you're a very. You don't dip that much, do you? I don't. I don't. I like to double dip. <laughs> Yeah, that crunch. Are they hot? Whoa. Mmm. Mmm. Those are incredible. I'm a bad boy chef, you know. Really? Those are crazy. Felicity, <laughs> come try this. Come on, Felicity. So, starter's done. I think we did an amazing job. All we down to, to you, really. They look, they look pretty good. Now we're on to our main, so we're going to be cooking a ramen. So I'm going to be on the prawns and the toppings, whilst Mira's going to be doing the more of the broth and the ramen itself. So on that note, let's get cooking. Yes. So tell, tell me what, what you're going to be doing first. Um, I'm just going to grate some garlic and some ginger. I feel like that's always a good base to start off. Yeah. Grate some garlic and some ginger and then just start working on like my proportions. There's not a lot of ingredients, don't really need a lot. No. And are you like me, I hate using lazy garlic or lazy. No, yeah, no. You can it's just cheating. It's, it's, cheating. it's not even like you you will taste the difference in your food. Mm. Like you will. Because for gar like you're better off grating a bunch of garlic, putting it in a plastic thing, freezing. like a plastic and freezing yeah, it. We like do that. that's that's lazy, but that's still fresh. Oh yeah, it's true. You know? Ideally, I would use a lemon, but I don't have yeah. any, so I'm gonna use some lime. Lime's fine. And we're not doing coriander because we've almost fallen out over... So off coriander. camera, Lockin wanted to put <laughs> coriander in a 
cooking ramen, yeah? And I am not gonna let him get away with it. He thinks he's just gonna She's one of those that says it tastes like soap, when actually, it doesn't. It and tastes- it's a beautiful garnish to be used on most, most dishes. I'm not a coriander babe. <laughs> You're not. I will never be a coriander babe. I'm sorry. I put it Parsley in Parsley the whole way through. So what's your next step now? So you've done your garlic, oh, garlic or ginger? Done yeah, I've just grated about two, mm, still small garlic cloves, two yeah. little garlic cloves, some ginger and um, sesame oil actually. You don't need measurements now, do you? No, so not well. really. <laughs> You're doing so well. Not really, <laughs> just like, again, like just tasting and like when you're sort of mixing things together, oils will bring out certain flavours and yeah. whatnot. I'm not like, you know, I'm not a, sh I'm not a musical, I mean, no, but no, I'm, I'm not. not a chef whiz, but I'd like to You know to the basics, yeah. you know the foundations. I think that's when, as long as you know the foundations, that's when you start experimenting. Yeah. And I'm, I never come with the energy of like, I'm doing this the right way, but I'm doing, yeah. I cook food that I know I like to cook and yeah. I know that will taste good. It's all about the taste. My presentation is my weakness. It's easier to fix presentation than it is to fix taste. Mm. That is for sure. Mm. So I've got some simple humble ingredients. We've got some mirin. So I'm probably just gonna do like, oh, this much mirin. We're gonna get some sugar. What would you say in this dish is like the star ingredient, the one that shines through for you? Will probably be the miso and the gochujang mm. together. I think as a pair. So I, don't very... think, I think, I know I've probably had, what's it, gochujang, but I've never cooked with it. Um, it's so what's the, it's yeah, what is, cook with, what is the taste? It's, it's sweet red pepper paste. Okay. So look, it's had some time to... I see, so you probably mix that in now. Yeah. So, what, so that's a bit of mirin. This bit is of... mirin, sesame oil, ginger and garlic. I bet that smells good. It, it does, to be honest. Isn't it mad? Oh. So simple, four things like. That is crazy. You just don't do too much, basically. So you're out of being a chef. I'm keeping it very simple. Sriracha, <laughs> sesame oil. Get the crepes in. <laughs> don't get my dusty crepes in. <laughs> Look at the crepes. <laughs> they are hard, they are hard They're crepes. They're so good. Shout out to my baby father. <laughs> Nigella who? <laughs> my Mella. <laughs> my Mella Morrison. I just got shiitake. Woo! Very pungent. About this much. We're not doing too much. No, we're not. And I'm just chopping up my mushrooms. To be honest, the mushrooms don't need a lot. I'm just gonna baste them in a bit of butter, a bit of garlic, a bit of sesame oil, done. Butter? Yes. <laughs> I can Congratulations. Cook in, I can cook in butter. Congratulations, Lachlan. <laughs> You are a man. Butter does not defeat you, you are yet, a man. sir. <laughs> I love mushrooms. I love Yeah, mushrooms. me too. Me too. The edible kind. No. The, well, the non <laughs> the non psychedelic kind he means, obviously. Of course. Of course. Miso. Mm, oh, Getting all those flavors. So I'm now gonna lightly toast my mushrooms. And a bit of sesame oil and a bit of butter. Look at this bad boy. Wow, <laughs> not the super duper <laughs> big boy. Big boy. Mushrooms in. So what's some of your guilty pleasure foods that you cook then? Like, with it, you're like, this is my dish and it's like weird, but it's good. Um, Probably like a cheese toasty. Yeah. I love it. But instead of, a, instead of like a tomato soup, like in like a korma. Ah, like, oh yeah, 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 I like do that. Do you know what I mean? Um, Whenever we do chicken curry. Well, like a non cheese toasty, yeah, yeah, basically. Yeah, like. I love that. That's a bit, what, what's, what's a weird one? What's yours? Do you know what we do? And this is a really weird thing that we do in our family. We'll have like scrambled eggs, bacon, but we'll have a side of these. Oh, yeah, 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 so yeah. So that's just like a tradition in our house. Oh, it's, so, it's so weird, but it, I just love noodles with like a bit of sausage. I love them. So I've just mixed a little bit of honey into here. So all together in here, there's ginger, mirin, honey, gochujang, miso, a bit of salt, a bit of sugar. That's it. I'm just gonna take a ladle of my chicken stock into here. 
be true. She knows what she's doing. She's like done this, this before. So it doesn't look like much, right? That's but this is, our, this is our flavour bomb That's right here. And then obviously what we'll do is we'll cook our noodles in this chicken broth. You got some, you got some chopsticks? Oh, you do! Take it back, he's a genius. He's not a good Chris, He thinks I don't know them. Can you tell we're Harry Potter nerds? What's, what's it? Um, epoxy! When Guardian when... Levio saw. <laughs> Right, back to the cooking. Yeah, I know, we're f***ing <laughs> neat, man. How good are you with chopsticks, then? Really good. I can eat a burger with chopsticks. What? How? And no, you can't. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. <laughs> no, you I can't. swear my mum's life I can, bro. <laughs> I swear to God. How? With my chopsticks, right, bro. Right, right. Let me find something. Get else. something that's burger consistent. Give me a sandwich and I'll show you. This is probably us, too. Yeah, right? go on, go on. Yeah. That's one time. Yeah. Me. No, have it. No, I want it. Okay, no, you can't okay. pick it up. No props. <laughs> to be fair, you got. To be fair, let me have a go. Right, let me give you a real test. Go on then. You just got to pick it up and hold it. <laughs> I'll show you how I do it afterwards. I'm a pro. And you got to get to head level. Oh! <laughs> we tried it. So our udon noodles have been cooked really quickly in chicken stock. You then ladle the rest of this chicken broth. Oh. That's naughty. What's it giving? It's giving Mira make cook. Mm. Delicious. I don't deny it. That's banging. Wow. Ooh. Mmm. That's fucking banging. It's almost the flavour combination is just. I taste parmesan weirdly. Do you get me? Like it's kind of giving nutty. Yeah. That's really it's good. It's a nutty vibe. That's probably the miso, right? Yes. Is it that texture? I'm now just going to lightly toast. I say toast. Lightly fry off our prawns. These will cook very quickly, and you do not want to overcook them. Overcooked prawns? Ick. Ick, big ick. You can already see them changing colour. And they're gonna cook, well, we've already cooked the ramen now, but they will still slightly cook in that hot broth. So you can afford to cook them about 96% done and then. Whilst Lockin is doing that, I'm going to now heat up our broth again, just so it can reduce down a little bit and we don't lose any of that flavour. Mm. Right, so the main's done. We cooked our prawns. We've got a beautiful broth, which Mira's taking control of, which tastes pretty good. So now, we're gonna assemble our ramen, so. Mm. And then... Oh, I thought he broke it. That would have been so sad. <laughs> Do you need a better spoon? No, sir. Ooh, that's pretty good. You see the tech on that? Yeah. The tech was crazy. I know you're going to already get the chopsticks and do the little... I was going to. I was no, going to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put a little egg yolk right there. Oh. <laughs> Final product done. Mira, I mean, I this. think you can take credit for pretty much. Have a look at that. All of that. All of that, all of that. My yolk don't jiggle jiggle, <laughs> it folds. <laughs> Come on now. Right. <laughs> We're gonna try, We're gonna. I, I wanna do this first though. Go on. Just on top of that. This is like, because of the lime and because of the type of soy sauce, mm. and because of the broth and prawn, it's kind of giving like Japanese, like Thai. It's a, it's a, it's a vibe. It's giving like a little bit of a It's not traditional vibe. what we yeah, will say. Not. So don't come for us. Please, we've we're just not... done flavours we like. It will taste good. That's so good. on that note, that yolk should you first. break. Should we break it? Yeah, I'll just break it. Go, 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 go. Expect ah! <laughs> Wow. Yes. She's a pro, I'm gonna copy.
Mm. That's a juicy nude. Mm. That's a very juicy nude. That flavour's lit. It's almost got a nice sweetness to it. Like the flavours complement each other. That's pen. Mm. That's like a wholesome, wholesome dish. I'm going to take one final bite. But we did for a high five. We did do well. That can find a So on that note, guys, we'll wrap up. Mira, it's been an absolute pleasure. Uh-huh. You know the food's slapping when that's happening. Mm -hmm. So stay tuned for next week for more guests.